Devin Kelly would not have been able to legally purchase the assault rifle he used to kill 26 people if the Air Force had properly reported his 2012 domestic violence court martial. Documents show he pleaded guilty to striking, choking, kicking, and pulling the hair of his then wife on two separate occasions. He also pleaded guilty to striking his young stepson on the head and body with a force likely to produce death or grievous bodily harm. What he was convicted of uh, should have stopped him from getting a gun. Investigators are still looking into the shooter's motive for opening fire inside the church. They're focusing on threatening messages he sent to his mother-in-law, who is a parishioner, but was not at church on Sunday. People in this close-knit community are stopping by this makeshift memorial to pray. Many believe that this tragedy would have been even worse if a neighbor didn't take action. Stephen Williford, who is being hailed a hero, ran out of his house barefoot, shot at the gunman, and forced him to flee. I'm no hero. I, I am not. I think my God, my Lord, protected me and gave me the skills to do what needed to be done. And I just wish I could have gotten there faster. The names of nearly all the victims are now known. They include a pregnant woman and her unborn child and a family who lost nine members. Several victims are still in critical condition, fighting for their lives. Courtney Zabowski for CBS News, Southern Springs, Texas.